Uh, hi everybody, Dave Calabro hanging out in beautiful Fort Lauderdale, Florida with uh, the three-time champion of the Indianapolis 500, Elio Castaneves! Yeah, thank you for the intro, man. <laughs> I so enjoy uh, coming to visit you. I think this is the third time I've been down to Florida to see you, but you have a new beautiful home. Thanks for inviting us in. How long you lived here? Well, it's amazing. Um, I finished this place uh, in 2019, by November 2019, and um, you know, we move in, unfortunately the pandemic came in, but for me it was actually a perfect time to enjoy the new house. And um, yeah, no, it was, it, was, uh, it, was, it was so far so good, it's, uh, life is good. This is a beautiful place. Uh, tell people about your family. Let's start off with family life. Well, family is everything for me, you know, for those that don't know me, um, obviously my dad, my mom, my sister, they were the one that actually, it was my, my dream to become a race car driver and, and all of a sudden it became a family dream. <laughs> so now, and it, I want to create my own direction, my own route and route, and um, and myself, Micaela and Adriana. Adriana is uh, is the one that, uh, oof, she wears the pants in this family here. Let me tell you, it's uh, and I and I, every time I come home here, go, honey, this is your pants. Uh, you know, so <laughs> it's uh, it's great. Uh, I have to say, um, we are we're really having a great time, and uh, uh, my little girl now is not little anymore. She's 11, so. You know, you, you guys probably saw when she was Yeah, so we little. were down here, went to school, chasing yeah. your daughter around. She's 11 now. She's 11 now. And she calls you Pop? She calls Papi. I was Poppy. like, sometimes Pai, you know, which is in, the, in Portuguese, in Spanish. So she mix. she does not call me Daddy, I think. Uh, I, I haven't heard that, that phrase yet, but uh, that word yet. But uh, it's, uh, it, it's great. I try to speak with Portuguese with her most of the times, but it's, um, she, she keeps answering in English, which I understand. That's hilarious. Well, so all these ladies, like, I let you know, Elio's off the market. Long time, man. Long it's time been... <laughs> ago, right? <laughs> yes, that's right. It's so right. How much you enjoy being a father? Oh, a lot. It is absolutely incredible. Very difficult. Uh, much, a lot of respect for, uh, for those that, uh, you know, if you don't have a partner, have to do on your own. It's very, very difficult uh, to educate, uh, to become friends. Oh, I mean, you know, it's uh, to balance it out. So, but it's the best thing in the world um, when you when she comes and talk to you and say I love you. Oh, it's 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 the best part of my day, to be honest. Yeah, it kind of puts everything in perspective. Absolutely. It? I, I can't believe it's been 20 years ago since your first Indianapolis 500 win. Yeah, it's been. What quite jumps a long back time. into your mind when you think about that? Well, I mean, I remember uh, like it was yesterday. You know, crossing the finish line and. Uh, I can't believe it. In fact, a lot of people might not know that. That was my first ever oval win. So uh, it's, even that I was racing already in kart before, that was my first win uh, in oval. So um, that, was, that was for me, it was like, whoa, I finally did it, you know? Until I realized that my name changed from, from Elio Castroneves to uh, uh, Indy 500 champion. Uh, and that was, uh, that's, that was big. And you climbed the fence? for the first time. Yeah, and then I ended up uh, going with the fans and climbing the fans. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, I tell you what, it's been so incredible. Everywhere I go, uh, the warm welcome from, from the fans, still do, till this day, it's great. And I see a lot of people want to see that number four coming. Uh, I mean, I want to see that. I mean, how cool would it be in history, uh, you know, for so many years, uh, only three drivers were able yeah. to do it. And uh, would it be great to be part of that, that group? Do you feel like you're running out of time to get the fourth? Is no, there well, extra pressure to get the fourth win at Indy? No, there is pressure. It's I would change the word to expectation. You know, every time I go out there, I have I have my own expectation to uh, to get that number four. Uh, for me, for the fans, for 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 part of history, it would be great. You know, but sometimes you can't. If I hope that's not the case. I hope we can make this with the new team that we have this year um, and make it happen. But uh, you know, you like I never won a championship. I mean, you can sometimes fight the stars or, 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 or the destiny, and uh, hopefully destiny will be on our side. I want to go back to fence climbing real quick. Um, how did you come up with the idea of climbing the fence at Indy after you won the race? Well, again, I, I was supposed to stop in, uh, uh, in a victor circle. I kind of like did not pay attention on the driver's meeting where I have to go. <laughs> and I stopped in the finish line, and I was like, where is everybody, you know? But when I look on my left, the crowd was going crazy. And I just decided to go and celebrate with them, you know, so it was, it was a mistake. But <laughs> it, like everything in life, the, sometimes some mistakes are good, and that was one of them. Oh, you're not kidding. That was a fun day. That was great. Because I remember we were all, I was like a 
right across and be like, well, he's stopping. <laughs> And now he's going to climb up the fence. <laughs> yeah, back That's then, cool. back then there were so many people doing donuts and uh, you know different type of stuff. I honestly, I never thought, what what am I going to do? And but um, it was it was incredible day. What's the coolest thing you've gotten to do because you were the Indy 500 champion? Wow, yeah, so there's many. There's been so many amazing yeah. things that have happened in your life. One of the things I remember was carrying the torch of the Olympics. That was uh, that was incredible. I mean, how how in, in the world do you imagine i mean going to the super bowl you know right there and the uh the, i know a lot of people might go every year but you know for me it was something very cool uh there were so many dancing with the stars come on i was in a television show man dancing in front of millions of people i mean you know how more can you ask for it so there was uh, there was a lot of things that uh, i was able to um to do because of the of the Indy 500 for sure. You seem to love pressure. Well, I guess is it, is it pressure or just the, you get energy from being challenged on something new, different? Like now you're wearing I, I'm looking Meyer Shank Racing. You, you're jumping shit. You're gone from Penske to a whole new team. It's a whole new challenge at the age of 45 here. Yeah. First of all, I mean, what a great um, what a great uh, era with Penske. We're talking about over 21 years with an amazing and incredible organization. Um, Roger and I not only became friends, but we're partners now, even in dealership. And uh, we know, like like every beginning, there is an end, you know. And for us, it was it was great. Uh, I, I have uh, only great things to talk. So much they they mold me as a as a as a driver, as a person. And um, and what a great opportunity now with Meyer Shank Racing, you know, a young team, full of energy. And for me. To put this perspective and to put the experience that I learned so much with uh, with the team, uh, and now have this opportunity to give it back, you know, it would be great. I, mean, I feel that uh, there is a lot to do with uh, with with Mike. Mike is a passion guy, like very much like me. So I'm really looking forward to um, to keep it going. And it's 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 expectation, you know. We all want to do it the right way. Uh, yes, only six races, but uh, it's good six races, and it's starting with the 500. We left out a very important part of your family entering to the stage here. Introduce everybody to who this is. This is the guard dog of the house. Here we go. This is Lollipop. Um, <laughs> not my dog. I, I probably, probably a lot of people remember Tugi. He's not here anymore. Yeah. He was a very good friend with Lollipop. And uh, yeah, she's seven years old. And um, yeah, this is Lollipop. A... Are you spoiled? Oh. A little bit? So. So you guys understand, I mean, at the beginning, no dog would be in my, my bed, right? There was nothing, <laughs> nothing that would be in my bed except me and Adriana. And a few years later, the dog now <laughs> right between me and Adriana, like, I can't believe it. How in the world that happened? How it, we came up on this situation? But um, yeah. You're aging. We're, we're aging. I guess, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to go into that. <laughs> and it sounds like soon we'll know that we're going to be having at least some fans. How important is it for you to hear the roar of the crowd at Indy? You know, for me, having the fans at uh, any event, but especially at the Indy 500, it's important for several reasons. I, I'm a passion guy. I love, I love the energy of the fans, and that actually I feed from them. Not having them like last year, it was very uh, different. Understanding nothing you can do about it in, certain, in, so, in so many uh, different circumstances. However, hopefully this year we're going to be able to have some. Um, I would love, they bring the pictures from the past. It brings you great memories. It brings some not so good memories, you know, losing by Hunter Ray by like six hundredths of a second. But, you know, uh, I, I love it. it you, you, you engage, you have some conversation uh, uh, with them. And uh, that's why it's so special in Indianapolis, because of the fans. And uh, would it would be great to have them around.